Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am actually doing a Dollar Tree shop with me today. Um, the series was so popular and so many people were like, keep doing it, that I was like, all right. So I'm at my favorite Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you all the things that you need for the Flower and Garden Festival this year. So if you are excited about the Flower and Garden Festival or you are going to the Flower and Garden Festival or these will even double over into the Food and Wine Festival, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and let's go save you some money. Now these eggs are specifically for those who are choosing to spend Easter or even spring break and want to do an egg hunt at their hotel. Now I think I've said this before in I don't even know, probably a really old video. But my parents used to take us during spring break and every year spring break always fell at either having Easter on the front or the back end of spring break. So my parents and all the families that we traveled with used to do an Easter egg hunt and these are so awesome. They have all different kinds. You guys can see that there's different shapes and there's different like colors and sparkles and basically just any kind of egg you could possibly want and I just thought it would be a cute idea for anybody who is going for Easter. Now this is for my less crafty friends. These are basically pre-made ears more or less that you can wear into the park. Obviously these are perfect for Easter but I also found a lot of really awesome spring ones for flower and garden. So this is a butterfly shape. There's also some sparkly flower shapes and I just loved these ears. I also found these great little flower and garden crowns. They have little flowers on the top and they were in a different spot. So make sure to look around your Dollar Tree for different headbands and whatnot. Now next, these are all different materials you can use to decorate your window. I have touched briefly on this and because we are staying at Art of Animation this upcoming trip, um, I got a bunch of things to decorate the window of our hotel room and so here are just a bunch of things and yeah I'm super excited about it and I'm planning to do a tutorial for this so just so you know I will be doing a tutorial and if you don't want to like do a big hassle you can actually get these really cute window clings and um, you can stick them either in your window or even your bathroom if you don't have a big window that faces out so that people can't see your decoration you could put it on a mirror or you know somewhere else in your hotel room this garland is perfect for lining the outside of the window and I actually got some I'm doing a haul at the end of this video so you guys will see everything that I got and then these cute little decor signs were really just adorable they have all different kinds too Now I realize this is looking ahead into a summer Disney trip, but I thought this would be so cute to hang on the outside of your hotel room door if you wanted to. And they had just a bunch of different signs and I just wanted to throw that in there. There's also all these beautiful decorations. They had banners and they had kind of streamers and just a lot of really interesting things to use in your window decoration for your hotel room. And this wreath holder is just a great option if you want to hang any of those signs outside of your door. Now moving into kind of bringing things into the park, they had all different kinds of spring themed Easter egg bubbles and they had chicks on them and I think some bunnies and obviously I've talked about glow sticks and getting those before you go because of the amount of glow things that they sell actually in the parks and they could just get to be really costly but I wanted to show you some new designs I saw so those star ones were really cool but I also found Vampirina and they had Avengers and if you just saw Tangled as well. Now 
Now I am really excited about this. I am actually going to use this as a sign for our stroller. So it'll have like our name on it and you can just hot glue a piece of string on the back or use some sort of Velcro and use it as a sign for your stroller. You can do the same thing with these as well. And I just thought it was a really great idea. I could do a DIY, but I feel like it's so simple that you guys kind of get the idea. Now I saw this over the chair storage and figured you could actually put this on the back of your stroller for storage or even on the back of a chair if you are taking a car down to Walt Disney World just to kind of organize things. Now this was something I was so freaking excited about. It's a portable fan. It does take batteries, but oh my goodness, for $1, you could bring this and use it in a hotel room or you can somehow rig it to your stroller or anything. But I was like, what? For $1, it's worth a try. Here are these cute little snack canisters. I saw this. I also got a Cheerios one. It wasn't there this time, but these little dolphins were, or sharks. Here are some flip-flops. They had kid sizes, adult sizes. I have no idea how comfortable they are. So if you know, leave a comment below and let us know. I'm sure they have different patterns at different Dollar Trees too if you started doing a search. These are awesome. Mosquito repellent bands. Oh my gosh, perfect for Disney and Florida because the amount of mosquitoes that are there. And then here is sunscreen and some aloe vera, which is, you know, clutch for Florida. Okay, so this is what I actually came to Dollar Tree to show you, and it's these lunch trays. They're pretty petite, um, and they can fit in a backpack or a diaper bag, and they can basically hold more than one snack while you're at a festival. And then I loved the idea of having a reusable fork and knife. Like, it can just be so wasteful when you're going through the food and wine festivals, and it's got, you know, your getting new forks and knives and spoons and everything every time and I thought this would just be a great way to reuse and then obviously you can wipe it off with you know something every time we just use wipes but then you know then there's hand sanitizer and I found this princess one which I thought was perfect for any princess loving kid you have in your life and also these um, travel packs of wet wipes which I thought were really great and then you guys know, I swear by my reusable bags, I always bring a reusable bag with me any time I go to Walt Disney World. And they have all different patterns. These were just some really beautiful ones that I saw. But they have Disney themed, and they've got basically any pattern you could want. And then here are sunglasses. I've shown this in the past, but figured I'd show you during the spring and summer, they kind of restock and put in even more. They also have kids sizes as well. And then little glasses cases. And then I loved this mug sleeve, so I had to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little haul. Just, I'm sorry about the angle, but this is gonna be the easiest way for me to do it. So, um, <clears throat> I got these window decorations, and I think I told you guys I am planning to do um, some, like, some window decorating and we're staying at Art of Animation in April. So um, I really wanted to do like a window spread, if you will. So I got that for that. I got those for that. I got this, Welcome to the Tiki Bar. I think I showed you guys this. This is some of the new, it looks like summer line that's coming in. But I actually got it for my dad for his birthday. My parents have like a little tiki hut in their backyard and I thought this would be cute. I did get this in hopes to make that stroller sign. I thought this would be really adorable for April because we're going during flowering garden. So I thought it would be cute to put on the back of our stroller. And then I also got this to do some more of that window decoration. I also got this floral wire because 
Um, I am doing a DIY for somebody for years and I needed this. And they all had different colors. I think they had red and orange, um, but I know that they get different colors throughout the year, but I thought the purple was good because we're doing like a flower and garden inspired DIY. And then I just got some other stuff. I'm not even gonna, it, it's irrelevant. Well, okay, fine, I'll just show it to you. Um, I got this for Ruthie. She loves these bath bombs and this is like a little princess one. And she really loves these bath bombs. And then I found this and I know that this is like a brand. Um, and Ruthie likes to do these little prize packs and it says Banania. It's the kitty who lives in a banania. Banana. Um, but to be honest, I got it for my sister. My sister like really likes cutesy stuff and so I <laughs> got it for her. Because <laughs> I love my sister. <laughs> and <clears throat> I've never really talked about the candy, but they do sell like name brand candy. And my dad's birthday's coming up and so I got him these belly fluffs, which are like jelly bellies that are misshaped. I got him two of these. And then my daughter actually really likes the pop-up books. So they have really cute pop-up books here at the Dollar Tree. And so I got her another one that she didn't have. It's called Magical Tea Time. And it's like, they like do cute stuff with dinosaurs. And she's got, the only one we're missing is Roller Buddies. There's Top Notch Pilots and Amazing Adventures. It shows you the series on the back. And they actually did like a whole fairy tale series and we got, I think I got everything in the collection. I think there were eight and we got all of them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that Dollar Tree shop with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you would like to see more like spring, fall, winter, um, summer type, what you'll need when you're there. Now spring and summer are gonna be similar because it's really hot in Florida. Um, and it rains and so the similarities are pretty different or pretty similar as far as like the weather and whatnot but the seasons change and so um what works for spring and summer i feel like would work pretty simultaneously but for fall and winter i feel like is vastly different so if you would like to see a fall and winter let me know in the comments below and if you haven't joined my disney family i would love to see you back here please consider subscribing i do a lot of this kind of content um this series has been a really popular one so i've continued to do it and as always i hope to make your trip just a little more magical see you guys real soon bye